Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do a little uh, garage video um, slash pool video. I was thinking maybe I'd give you a little tour of the uh, new deck that we got built in the pool area and everything, and then uh, maybe a little update on the garage because I did do some, well, I got some work done on it. I didn't do it. Um, I got this door put in and uh, got some new tools. I don't know if you guys will care, but... Basically, I want to do some videos on some of the new tools and pool stuff. And, you know, I was debating starting a new channel or renaming the channel, but I've had, I've had this channel under Lefty EDC for three plus years now. And I, I don't, I just don't care enough to start a new channel. I'm not trying to like, you know, start some huge, uh, thing. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not trying to have a, a YouTube channel podcast group or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I just want to make videos and talk about shit I like and, uh, show you guys. And so if you're not into something, just don't watch it. That's what you guys do now, right? I mean, I can see the views. I know what you guys don't watch. Um, but I still record the same shit because, I like it. You know what I mean? Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. I'm just going to do it. And uh, you guys let me know what you think. By the way, man, my hair looks gray as shit in this light. Maybe it is. I don't know. But um, yeah, also, I've been a little spotty with content lately. I've just, you know, I've been dealing with all the stuff going on. And uh, my wife's, you know, pregnant. And I have a three-year-old. And it's just, it's a lot. And uh just kind of enjoying stuff right now and um it's just kind of put some of the channel stuff back burner and you know it is what it is uh, but i'm not going anywhere just you know you might see less videos so anyway uh i'm gonna flip the camera around so i can actually show you guys stuff and uh yeah i just want to give you like a little update slash show you what's been going on here uh and yeah so here we go. Thanks guys. Love you. All right. So here is the garage. Um, it's pretty much the same. Um, I just, I had, when they did the deck, I had them add this door right here. And that's the game changer for me because before I had to go out of the garage or the house and go around the side through the grass over here that is not really good at draining. And if it's a rainy time or whatever, it's very wet and annoying. Then I have to go through the gate and then I'd have to get to the pool stuff over here, you know, and then I got to go all the way back around. And it's, I know that it's a first world problem, but it cost me like 1200 bucks to put this door in. And it just seemed like a no brainer to me because I have all the pool stuff right here. Um, I'm testing some stuff out. I might do videos on it. I do want to do uh, videos on like the robots. I have that one that does uh, pool skimming. It skims the top. And then I have one that does the floor. Um, I want to do those, but I might do some other stuff. Like I have one of those uh, frog leap systems for the, for the pool. That's how the chlorine gets in. And I'm testing some stuff out. This looks terrible, but um, these cost like 30 bucks a pop for these things. They're super expensive. And they last like a week or two. In the summer, they last like a week. Um, and that's a lot of money. And I'm, you know, I don't mind burning money. That's kind of how I am. If it's something I enjoy, like a pool, I don't mind, right? I'll buy the more expensive thing. Um, but... In this case, it's like kind of silly because it's literally just trichlor tablets in here. So I'm testing this out. I cut this one open and I bought the three inch tablets and I just stacked up five of them in here. I fit five in here, stacked up, and then I just uh, put the lid back on and put some silicone around it. And I'm going to see how this works in there. And if it works the same... I'm probably just going to burn through all these and then I'll cut them all open and I'll probably have to figure out a way to reuse the cap because this obviously doesn't work. I just did it because I 
when I cut it, it didn't fit perfect and I just siliconed it because it's just a test subject. So I'm gonna change this out in the next couple of days and put this one in and we'll see how it goes. But um, yeah, so I might do a video on that because I couldn't find really any information on YouTube about swapping those out. Um, and then I've been testing or using this cover free stuff. It's like a solar cover, but it's a liquid solar cover for your pool. Cause I don't really feel like dragging bubble wrap over my pool and shit. Um, cause I have a heater and I don't want to just lose a bunch of, uh, temperature overnight. So I'm trying this out. It seems to work. Um, but my heater is already overkill. So I don't know. Anyway, all the pool stuff is here and like chemicals for the yard and you know bug killer and uh caulk and everything i try to keep it up so the kiddo can't get to it and then i just put in this uh shelving thing here from husky uh if you can't tell i kind of have like a red and black theme i'm a milwaukee fan um but craftsman and husky or maybe this is craftsman um and husky have like same color so it kind of works out so i usually buy their stuff when i'm getting like bins and this kind of stuff uh so yeah put this in to just help organize a little bit i had like all the tools and batteries in here and it was just getting really crowded in there so um i put them over here kind of got these displayed because honestly i almost never use the m18 impact or the m18 hammer drill because they're just huge i mean you know if i worked construction or carpentry or something maybe this would be uh more necessary but um whenever i do stuff around the house 95 percent of the time i'm grabbing my m12 impact uh fuel impact because it's it's got plenty of juice um, and it's just more compact. You can even put one of those little batteries like this on there and then it's really small, but then it doesn't really stand up. So I like these and I just bought these uh, high output ones. I think I put the high output one on the uh, hammer drill. I might switch that out because I actually use this one a lot. Um, I barely use a regular drill. I'm pretty much all impact. I know that's not necessarily proper, but it's just easier. They're lighter weight. Um, I can pop anything I need into the collet and it's just simple, you know? Um, I have a bunch of batteries because I bought some uh, yard equipment from Milwaukee and a shop vac, I'll show you in a second. And uh, so I needed some bigger batteries. So I got the 8.0 high outputs. Now, this one came with my string trimmer and blower combo. Um, and then this one I got on Amazon. And this one, just so you guys know, in case you're on Milwaukee, they sell 8.0, 6.0, I think 3.0s. And there's some really good deals on there. Like, uh, I think this one was 100 bucks, And usually these are like 200 bucks. Um, the 6.0s I got for like 85 and, um, I mean, I've checked every which way to see if these are fake. And I'm pretty sure they're real because everything is the same. Like, a lot of times the fake ones don't have the the uh, battery where it goes one, two, three, four. It kind of just all lights up at once. Or the color is different or something like that. Literally, the text, I've gone over these with a microscope. Everything is identical. The only thing different is this little hole right here. You see how far away it is from this lightning bolt? And this one is like right next to it. That's the only difference I can find. So what I think is the case is you can see here all the, all the part numbers and everything are going to be identical, right? This stuff over here. All of that's going to be identical, 144 watt hours, the print, the color, like everything's the same, right? But right here, you can see this starts with 23 and this came with that combo pack or kit. So this was made in 2023 and I think that's the thing. This was made in 2020. So I'm pretty sure they're just selling like 
batteries that have been in stock somewhere too long. They have like, you know how places will run, they'll run big deals or they'll sell to outlets or whatever once they have stuff that's old. You know what I mean? So, cause they always want new stock. Um, so then places online will get these older batteries or maybe it was like a return to Lowe's or something. Cause this one actually came in a box just in a plastic thing. Like it, it was very odd. It didn't have like Milwaukee packaging. Um, the 6.0s I got did. So I don't know. I think maybe this was like a return. Uh, it also had a full charge when I got it, which is very odd. Usually they have one bar when you get them new. So I think they're just returns or old stock. So they're fine. I've tested it. It's, it literally has the same output, uh, the same runtime as this one. Uh, so it's just the age. So what you got to realize is your warranty is just probably not intact. So you're paying half the price and you don't get the warranty. So that's up to you if you care. I'd rather pay 100 bucks for the battery than 200 And I haven't had a problem with the batteries before. So that's my uh, spiel on the... Uh, batteries online um i got an ego uh mower because my mower crapped out um i'll talk about that in a second but these are some things i want to do like full videos on and uh, i know some of you don't care so that's why i'm giving you the warning you just skip those which is fine right um and then i got the milwaukee sprayer so this will work for um spraying like roundup and shit and then i also signed up for this pesty service which is a um pest control you know how you can pay a company to come to your house every three months and do it and it's like 150 bucks every quarter well this is like 150 bucks for the year and every quarter they send you the chemicals and you spray it yourself so it's kind of like a in the middle right i researched all the chemicals and i was gonna just buy the chemicals myself which you can do you can buy the commercial chemicals and then just spray it yourself every quarter but i figured i'd start with this see how it goes and then i wrote down all the every time they send me a package i'll write down the name of the chemical and i can probably just order the stuff or whichever one works the best and then i'll do it myself next time but i figured um for the first year, I would just uh, try this out and see how it goes. So I got this cool sprayer because I'm dumb and uh, I wanted this Milwaukee sprayer. They send you everything you need. There's like a battery powered sprayer in there. It's getting really hot in here. So let me just try to wrap this up. I bought this uh, shop back. So the one I had was this Husky and I absolutely hate that thing. There's no way to wrap the hose. The cord is almost impossible to wrap up. I finally got it. And so I ended up, I just put it up there and hung the hose down. It's just terrible. So I got this one that actually takes batteries. So there's no cord, which is really nice. I vacuumed my truck the other day. You don't have to worry about um, cords. So just makes it a lot easier. They make a six gallon one. This is the nine gallon. They make a six gallon that takes one battery and then they have the 9 and the 12 that take two batteries. I figured I'd get the uh, 9 because that way I can put two 8.0s in here and you just get more power, which is, you know, I want a little more suction if I can get it. Um, I think this one is like somewhere around 110 CFM and the 6-gallon one battery one's like 85. So it's not a crazy difference, but... Uh, anyway, it's really cool. You can wrap the hose around and it has this little strap so you can, uh, you know, keep it in place. It's got spots for all your, uh, uh, attachments. I bought this one. This is a, they have a whole air tip series of attachments and they'll work with like any shop back. Um, but I really wanted this long reach crevice tool cause it's got this sort of like rubbery silicone top and you can bend it any which way so if you need to like get in between a seat or something you can bend it over like this and it doesn't like cave in here so it'll suck up whatever you need and this was like 20 dollars extra i think this was 
This was $2.99, I think. I got it tool only. It's super expensive in a kit because of the batteries. And that's where buying the batteries on Amazon comes in handy. You can buy a couple of batteries in this and it'll be way less than the kit. Um, but anyway, I got the shot back, which has been awesome. That sprayer was like 200 bucks too, which is stupid, but this is the mower I've been using for five years from uh, Lowe's Cobalt, which when I bought it, I didn't know that was like Lowe's brand shit, but um, it actually worked really well for five years. But then I, I went to buy a new blade a couple of weeks ago because that one's obviously been on there for five years. Uh, at the time, I didn't know you were supposed to like sharpen them and do stuff like that. Um, I recently bought a Dremel attachment kit to sharpen blades. Shout out to Todd Carr, who told me about that. Sent me a link um, so I can sharpen up mower blades now. And uh, this one's like chipped and it's probably too far gone. So I tried to order a replacement. Lowe's doesn't sell a replacement for their own mower. Like how stupid is that? That's the world we live in now where everything is replaceable. And I guess I'm guilty of the same stuff, wanting to buy a new phone and a new watch and whatever every year. But like, you can't even get a replacement blade for a mower that's five years old. That's so sad. So it turns out these are actually made by Greenworks, I think. And I found a thread on Reddit for this model number and apparently Greenworks has the blade. So I got the part number, searched it up, couldn't find it anywhere. It's all discontinued everywhere. I found it at one place. It was like partswarehouse.com. And I ordered two and I paid for express shipping, never shipped it. I emailed them a week later. They're like, yeah, it's back ordered. As soon as we get them in, we'll ship them. So I said, fuck it. I canceled the order and I bought a new mower. So I also broke the... Uh, there's this little attachment you put on the side of the mulching thing so that it shoots out the side. And I broke that because it never stays in place. It fell off and then I ran it over. <laughs> so uh, it was pretty much time for a new mower. So I bought this Ego mower uh, last week. Now I wish if I could go back, I would spend a little more money and get the Select Cut, which has two blades. This one only has one. It's the 21 inch self propelled with the 7.5 amp hour battery. I haven't even used it yet. I bought it last weekend. So I might do a video on this. I might not do a video on any, any of this stuff, but I wanted to show you. So that's, uh, I guess an update on the garage. Uh, let me take you outside and I'll show you the deck. Let me get my glasses on. So this door, like I said, it's incredible because it lets you out right here. Ow. So instead of having to go around the whole house and through this gate and then coming down here, I can just pop right into this door into the garage, have all the pool stuff there, the filters here, right? The pump, the frog leaf chlorinator, the heater, everything's right here. So I can, I can just get to it easy. The skimmer's right here, so if I need to add uh, some chemicals or whatever, I can just do it real quick. And I don't have to lug everything. It's just so much easier. Um, so I'll try to give you a better view of this. If anybody needs a pool ladder, let me know. I need to get rid of that. So this pool was... Uh, it was here when we moved in. But they had that ladder and literally the ladder was right i forget which side of the skimmer it was on it was like right here or something and then um there was stairs right there and the deck ended literally like right there right it was a very small deck we we extended it five feet out and then we added this whole section here onto the pool so you would have to come out of the house, down the stairs, through the grass, and then you have to climb up this ladder to get in the pool, right? Not bad. It's, you know, whatever. And then they had all the pool stuff like right here on these kind of uh, blocks. I need to landscape this. I think I'm going to add rocks. 
but they had um, they had the pump and the chlorinator, and they had like a shitty uh, cartridge filter. It was in the garage. You might have seen it, and it was all like right here. And then there was these flexible hoses running to the skimmer and to the return, right? So you had to walk through, and that was the only staircase on the deck, right? I'll show you what we added, but so you'd have to come down here. If you came off the deck, you'd have to come down here and you'd either have to go around the pool that way or you would have to walk over all the hoses and try not to trip and break anything. Um, and then, you know, if you have a little kid, like I have a three-year-old, she almost fell off that ladder last year. Uh, we got to use the pool like once before we closed it. We moved in in uh, September, October. And the one time she got out, I was like holding her hand on top of the ladder. I was in the pool and I was letting her get out and she slipped. She almost fell down the whole ladder. I Luckily I caught her, but you know, we're having another kid and it's just like, it, I don't know. And then you got to drag grass into the pool every time you get it. It's just not, it wasn't like a enjoyable kind of thing, right? Let me grab a drink. So, uh, I did what I do and I went way overboard and, uh, tried to try to do the next best thing to having an in-ground pool, which I would love to have at some point if I, you know, get the money together, I'd love to put one in, but they're crazy expensive. So we rebuilt the whole deck. Um, obviously I had a contractor do it cause I wanted it to be done right. And, uh, so basically the old deck went to like here and then it went down to where that gate is and then it went back to the house and then here's the door to the house. So it was a very small deck and then you had stairs right here. So we ripped it all up. They ripped it all up. They had to redo a bunch of it cause they didn't, they didn't even concrete in the footings on the old deck. It was really bad. And, uh, we went with treks. So we have uh, Trex uh, floorboards, which are awesome. This is like pebble gray, um, sorry. And then I ended up going with a uh, Trex railing. This is a Trex Select. It's actually super affordable. Um, you'd think it would be really expensive, but it was, we were gonna use the existing railing and just buy what we needed extra and add on and replacing it all with this trek select gate was actually less expensive or it was the same price this stuff is like 17 dollars a foot or something uh, it's just weird how cheap it is it's it's really good though so and then it has aluminum round balusters um, i bought these solar lights to go on every cap and we put a staircase here so now you can go down this way into the yard. The dogs mainly can go down this way, do their thing. Um, and you can get around the pool that way and out the gate if you want. Or you can go down here and you can get out or into the garage. So we kind of changed things up a little bit, but I think it's way better for everybody this way. And uh, when the pool people came and installed the heater, I had them bury the lines. So the they hard piped it so it doesn't have these stupid flexi hoses and it's buried underground and runs under and comes up and then goes in and then comes back down and goes into the return it's just so much better you can walk through here without worrying about shit you know uh, and then yeah i went overboard and i spent a lot of money getting a heater <laughs> installed um and i think it was actually really good thing to do because we're in the pool now it's 84 degrees it feels fantastic it's just way more enjoyable than like it was 60 it was like 60 degrees when i turned the heater on two weeks ago um and it took like a day and a half or two days to get to 80 with this thing because it's overkill it's like 110 no it's 93 btu and this is a 10,000 gallon pool so I know I went overboard but it was like it was $300 more than the 55k BTU unit so I was like why wouldn't I get the huge one makes no sense you know 
Um, I was already spending a shit ton. An extra 300 bucks was nothing. Um, and then here's that frog thing where you put the chlorine packs in. There's a pump. And then I got a new filter. It's a sand filter, which has been really good so far. Um, it just hangs out at 10 PSI all the time. It's been like three weeks. Um, I backwashed it once just because I wanted to try it. I don't have the uh, furniture out, but this is the little furniture thing we bought. We actually got it on Walmart. My wife found it and it was super affordable. Um, so it has this nice tall table so you can actually like eat on it. It's not just like a lounge thing. Um, and you can fit an umbrella through it. I have the umbrella taken apart and underneath the cover. And then you could put all the cushions on one and put the cover over and protect everything during the summer. And then in the winter, you can actually stack that one on there and then put the cushions on. And they have little, uh, they have little things here to let the humidity at moisture out or whatever. So we'll see, but it was like 500 bucks for this whole set. It looks good. Um, and then we have the child gate here this is the last thing they had to put in the other day and uh obviously you just pull up on it it's like a magnet lock Let's see if i can there we go so the kids especially my three-year-old can't get in unless we let her in it also has a lock on it but that was like a township thing we had to have this kind of gate uh, and my contractor just like cut out this little notch on the light so it fit in. Uh, the guy was really good. Steps. And then we have like a, a little pool deck, which I never really, I never really pictured us like lounging here. It's more of just like a, you know, a gateway to the pool. That's where you hang out. And then um, if you want to get in the pool, you can put your towel and all your shit here. Uh, we have all the pool stuff in there, which reminds me to put these in there. Uh, and then we have the stairs, which I think I got the wrong size. I got a 48 inch stair. And when I put it in, I realized I think the pool is actually 52 inches and I got 48. Luckily, the mounting brackets came up high enough and uh i wish i could have got more than just four screws in but we'll see how it goes i got extra trex board in case anything happens here i can replace this board if i need to um you know because i'm probably gonna have to at some point if i'm unscrewing these every year and uh, but it works great you just have to avoid standing on that at least for me because i'm you know 250 or whatever my kid my wife it doesn't really matter um but it's way better than that than that ladder you know you can get in you can get out it's just it feels like an actual pool which is the way i wanted it you know so and that's the pool it's not huge or anything but it's been uh great it's been super relaxing when we get in uh, especially at 84 which i thought was outrageously high um I tried it because my neighbor, he said the little kids, they like, they just get really cold or they don't want to get in when it feels cold. Um, so I originally put it at 80 and I had my daughter in and after like two hours or maybe it was like an hour, she was in there like teeth chattering. It was like 85 outside and 80 in the pool. She's like chattering teeth and everything. We had to go in cause her lips were like turning blue. So I turned it up to 84 and no problem since. So apparently it's like a thing with little kids. Um, and I haven't figured out the grill yet. I put it like this cause you can, I don't know if you can tell, but the guy who owned the house before, he obviously had his grill up against the siding <laughs> and I guess he warped the siding a little bit. So I don't want to do that. Um, and it doesn't quite fit this way cause it sticks out of the, uh staircase there so i kind of just put it on an angle i think it looks fine but uh my original plan was to have the grill down here and maybe build like a pad 
concrete or paver pad down here. I could have the grill and maybe like a fire pit and some chairs. So I might still do that at some point, but um, you know, we've kind of bled a lot of money lately, so I might wait. And this is like the main area where the dogs can go. So I also don't want to keep chewing up their space. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I've been up to. Uh, kind of, you know, managing all this, making sure it's all good, pointing people in the right direction. Uh, I kept adding shit. Like I added the lattice because obviously it would look, looks way better with lattice everywhere. Um, you know, I added the door that wasn't originally in the contract. Um, there's a few things, so... The last things I need to do is just get an electrician out here to, I need some kind of light out onto the pool and maybe over this door. And uh, I need to figure out the landscaping as well, but that's pretty much it. So there you go. I'll, uh, I'll switch the camera around real quick one more time. All right, sorry for the super long video, but uh, anybody who doesn't care, you didn't have to watch. Anybody who does, hey, I appreciate you guys very much. I know some people have been asking me about the deck and they uh, they wanted me to show it. And you know what? I should. Because I've been talking about it like crazy on my lives and whatnot. I was selling a bunch of shit to uh, pad the coffers a little bit. Um, I guess I could tell you how much we spent if anybody cares. Um, <laughs> It was a lot. I think it ended up being somewhere around 30 grand for everything. Um, the deck, the quote we got for the deck was like 20,300, something like that. Um, and then I think it ended up being closer to 23 or 24 because I added the door, I added the lattice, I added I uh, changed the railing to the Trek Select, which changed the gate. That was the main thing. We had to then change the gate to that gate, which it all looks way better. So I think it was about 24 for the contractor for the deck and the door and everything. And then I think I spent like seven on the pool people because they had to dig for the lines. It was mostly the heater and the install for the heater. That was like, I think the heater was like 4,800 and then installed, it was like 52 or something like that. And then they buried the lines. And then I also bought the filter and a new pump and whatever. So it was like seven grand, which is a lot. I was going to do it myself, but that would have been a nightmare, you know? Oh, the electrician, he was, he was actually really affordable. I think I spent like a thousand bucks on him and he came twice. He came to run the 20 amp line or whatever to the heater and then he came back to move the pool pump outlet because it was in the middle of the freaking walkway there it was terrible the way it was set up so he moved it over to the wall so that they could you know put everything on a row here um so yeah so that was like seven so that puts us at like 30 32 and then a bunch of, you know, I bought the robots for the pool. I bought the furniture. I bought the lights for the caps. Um, you know, so I don't know. Maybe it was like 33000 total for everything. Um, but you know what? I think it was worth every penny. Uh, the I literally would... I'd probably trade that 33 grand for just that one Memorial Day weekend we had last week. Um, it was incredible. We were here, it was like three or four days, and we were in the pool every day. Uh, the kid was having fun. We're all out in the deck. Um, it was like, it literally just felt like everything paid off. So um, it was worth it. Um, so... I think I'm pretty much good on this situation other than maybe getting the the uh, lights and the landscaping done at some point. So I'll move on to another project next year probably. Try to save up till then. 
But uh, yeah, that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I don't know if you'd have questions about that, but um, there you go. For anybody who is curious, that's what's been going on. Um, I'll try to get this up maybe before Blade Show, but uh, if not, you know, if I do, I hope I see you guys at Blade Show. I guess I could show you one knife in this video. I'm carrying a Bevo Stout V2 in Vanex Super Clean Purple Haze Fat Carbon. I will show you one knife that I picked up. I don't buy a lot of knives these days, but I did buy this one at Home Depot. <laughs> I got the Fastback. I wanted to try it because I, I heard a lot of you guys mentioning it. And yeah, dude, this thing is a sick little utility blade. Um, I've had to use it to cut down like a shit ton of giant cardboard boxes. Um, like thick cardboard too. Like some of these, I swear they were like quadruple walled. And I even tried using like a pocket knife. I think I had like the concept Prometheus or the, uh, Pyrotech cracking in my pocket. And I tried using those and it was just like so hard to cut through. And this thing just, you know, swipes through. Um, sometimes, you know, a utility blade is just better. Plus you can get such a hardy grip on this, um, to cut compared to, you know, most pocket knives. Um, so this is actually a really good tool. If you guys need one, they're like 12 bucks or something. I think maybe it was like 20 at a uh, home Depot or wherever, but, um, yeah. All right. I'm going to shut up. I love you guys. Thank you for uh, all the support. I still need to do the member giveaway. I'll try to get to that uh, for May. I have the item. It's going to be the Focusworks F2 custom flashlight that I had modded with a uh, Dr. Jones driver. So it's a really cool light. Hopefully somebody will enjoy it. I just need to get a video up and then do the live to pick the winner. So I'll work on that. But uh, yeah, love you guys. And uh, hopefully I'll catch some of you guys at Blade Show. Peace.